Hey guys, this is Jonathan. Uh, I work in the uh, desktop engineering group at VMware, and today I'm going to introduce uh, a new fling. This is the ThinApp version of the vSphere client. And for those of you who don't know ThinApp, ThinApp is a application virtualization technology that lets you take complex applications and turn them into single files so that you can just put them on a network share, put them in your Dropbox account, and access them from any computer. Just double click the file and run it. Uh, no installation needed. And uh, ThinApp was originally acquired by VMware back in uh, 2008. And uh, we've been uh, building up that product since then. And uh, really happy to, to have this product. One of the things that we've put into ThinApp in the last year was uh, this thing that would allow you to opt in to report statistics to VMware, uh, letting us know which applications you're packaging and how successful you were with those packages. And we found when we looked at those statistics that the vSphere client was in the top three of the applications that people were packaging with ThinApp. So people have a real big demand for this and we've seen a bunch of Twitter posts and blog posts for people asking for this. So here it is, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to demo how to use this fling. Simply extract the vSphere client from the zip file. Place it on your local computer or on a network share. If it's on a network share, any computer that can access it can run the application in streamed mode. Just double click the application and within a few seconds you'll see the vSphere client is fully loaded and available for use. Once the client's loaded, you can use it to connect to any ESX, vSphere, or vCenter instance in your environment. For this demo, I'm going to connect to a vCenter instance I have in my lab and browse some of the virtual machines located on that vCenter instance. As you'll see here, we can go to the remote console of any virtual machine we like to. We can do operations like power on the virtual machine. Anything that the vCenter or vSphere client allows you to do normally can be done with this version as well. I'll also demo here how you can go and browse summary information, resource allocation, and interact with the remote data store. One of the nice things is because this application is actually running on the current PC, I can open up and browse to the data store and upload and download files directly from this PC to the remote vCenter instance. Then that presents a virtualized file system and registry to the vSphere client application, allowing it to both run without installation, but also interact with the host PC. So as you can see, the ThinApp version of the vSphere client is identical to the natively installed version, but now available in a convenient form factor. So while you're using ThinApp, look for the optional feature to enable uh, quality reporting statistics to come back to VMware. This lets us know anonymously how you're using it, what applications you're using it for. And this allows us to better adapt the uh, product for your needs in the future. So this fling is really easy to try out. Just go to the website, download the zip file, and run the vSphere client exe on any Windows PC. Um, after you've done that, come to the discussion forum and let us know your experience. If you really like it, um, we'll consider rolling this into the vSphere product in the future, um, separate from the fling product. So it's really important to get your feedback. One other thing that you can do is if you liked the experience in being able to run applications directly from network shares without modifying the PC you're going to run them on, um, try it out on other applications that you use in your environment and let your desktop guys know that they can use this for any application that you have in your enterprise environment. Visit us at labs.vmware.com and check out this fling as well as many others.